Hello, hello, hello! You are tuning to the episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's first topic is kind of a solemn uh, topic. Um, R.I.P. to Jacob E. Jones. Um, it came out, I want to say, about four hours ago that former Houston Texans, um, then Ravens, wide receiver, punt returner, specialist, Jacoby Jones was found dead um, in his in his bedroom um, at the age of 40. And, uh, yeah, it's right here. 1984 to 2024. It's official. It's been proven he's no longer alive and with us. I, um... I could say a whole bunch of stuff about, oh, this is different, this is crazy, and everything else. When stuff like this happens just so suddenly, I like to remind people a lot that you need to tell the people that you love that you love them. Sometimes get over the petty disputes and arguments that keep you apart the arguments that creates caverns of loneliness and despair that keeps you apart from that person or people because this life is promised to no one and in the blink of an eye your eyes don't open and Look, this guy, I want you to show how crazy this is. This is a man that has achieved, that did achieve his dreams. Achieved his dreams. Got to play in the NFL. Got to play for multiple great organizations. Got to win a Super Bowl. Become respected. Receive adulation even after retirement for his accolades and achievements and splash plays that catapulted the Ravens to the Super Bowl. I can make the argument that his special teams play. We haven't seen special teams dominate. I mean, just make play after play, game after game. Make it be in the receiving game, punt return, kick return, since Devin Hester. I can make that argument for Jacoby Jones. I can definitely make that argument. Go back through the games. But it's more than just the game. It's the smiles, the hopes, the... The, the memories that were built around a lot of his mistakes and his successes. And then it brings us all here to say, RIP, man, God, could you imagine how his family's feeling? He's probably telling, yeah, I'll see y'all in like a month or a week. You know, I got to go do the coaching thing. I love y'all. Because, you know, he's the, he's the life of the party. He's always smiling, laughing, cracking jokes, livening the mood. Bringing up the spirits of the people around him. Even winning the coaching. To teach the game to the next generation. And he's gone. I'm, 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 imp- I'm imploring you guys. Please. Please. Tell the people that you love, you love them. If you didn't tell your wife that you love her today, make sure you do. If you didn't tell your parents you haven't or called your parents in a week, call them. Your kids, if you haven't held them and said, you know, mommy loves you or you know, daddy loves you, go hold those kids and tell them that. Because like I said, it is not promised to no no man. It can all end in a blink of an eye. And honestly, like I look, um, when it comes to these type of things, I was someone has told something to me. I'm trying to remember exactly what they had said. And when it comes to me, I'm gonna I'm gonna relay it. But 
we have such a finite amount of time to give everything that we have. And some people let those days, hours, minutes, and seconds just pass by. It's fleeting. That's part of the reason of the beauty of life. Listen, I ain't come on here to preach or nothing like that. What I'm saying is I'm looking at this differently because I want to look at this from the aspect of saying a going home service. Almost, right? You want to be happy and just remember the good times because there's not going to be any more times after this. If you missed out on the opportunity to tell uh, Jacoby Jones how you felt, how what he meant to you, anybody close to him in his life, you'll never get that chance again. And these are the things that I tell people, man. Just sometimes life, life, man, think about how fast life has flown by after high school. Once my dad used to tell me that once you hit 18, your life gets put on a treadmill on fast speed and it just keeps and you, it doesn't stop. And you're just running, 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 running. And the years just start just start piling on. And all of a sudden you go from 18 to 25. And 25, then you're 30. 30, then you're 35. You got kids, wife, mortgage, insurance, car payments. I'm hoping that people don't use this as a time to get down. But just to remember, you know, what he meant to the city of Baltimore. What he meant to a lot of fans. The great memories, the laughter. Because, man, it, it, it hits hard. He's not old. 40 is not old. For anybody that's trying to come out here and be like, oh, 40 is old. 40 is not old at all. It's only old in professional sports. Forty years old. He got five years on me. For the people, I remember there was a guy that told me that um, in one of my stuff, like I'm probably not even a Raven fan. I probably never even watched them play. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I told y'all this. Outside of the Ravens, I used to love Andre Johnson. I, I was a big Andre Johnson fan. And because of that, I ended up liking a couple players off the Texans. Jacoby Jones was one of them. I was ecstatic when we got him because I knew he had a big playability. Because back then it was Andre Johnson, Kevin Walter, Jacoby Jones. That was before Arian Foster got drafted. To show you, I my football is up there. Heck, that's before they got Matt Schaub. And then they got Matt Schaub. Arian Foster got, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, what's it called, moved up on the depth chart, and he started showing out. Owen Daniels was on there, too. Dwayne Brown was on there, too. And then he went to Baltimore. Yeah, he went to Baltimore. And I was like, oh, my God, Baltimore got Jacoby Jones. And a lot of people was like, I ain't nothing special. And, like, he's, like, the third receiver on there. I was like, bro, he got big playability. Y'all don't know because y'all ain't watched the Texas game. And, this, and remember, this is way before, tw like, Twitter was Twitter, uh, Facebook and all that stuff was fake. Like it, like all of social media wasn't. It, it's not what it was now. It was way, way in their infancies. And here we are. Like I said, I didn't come out here to preach to anybody. I'm just saying, you know, you know, condolences to the family because I know they got to be going through it. All his kids whatever and I just hope and pray that um they're okay because at the end of the day when this day and tomorrow pass this is just gonna be in the back of the media um circulation his family's gonna have to deal with this for weeks months years until they're dead like oh my god I can't believe we lost uh, J uh, uh Jacoby Jones like I can't believe it I can't believe we missed J uh, Jacoby JJ. It's sad, man. It's sad. But I'm going to close it out on this. Because of what he's contributed to this team, because we would have not won the Super Bowl, much less even made it to the Super Bowl without it. We wouldn't have won it or made it there without Jacoby Jones. I'm letting y'all know that now. One of these playmakers, when they score next year, 
This is what I want to see from them. Look. I want to see that, man. I want to see it. What a player. Just didn't have the guardy numbers, but the moments he had. The moments. And won over a city, a crowd, a generation. Fly high, Mr. Jones. Fly very high. And God bless to you and your family. Seriously. Yeah. But that's an episode of The Wonderkind. You know how this goes. <laughs> Thank you, God, for watching. Yeah, now we get down. We have fun and we laugh. Even though today was not a laughing real uh, episode. <laughs> uh, please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're going for 10,000 subscribers. Guys, don't forget, if you're watching this show, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like and tell people about the Wonderkin Show. And let's spread, spread the wonder, the wonder seeds into the minds of the people that need to be enlightened with raving content and other, at times, sports and comedy. If you have not done so already, check out the one that controls Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness winning for your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash app's located in the description of every video that we do. Name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. So once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nectar, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Fly high, Jacob B. Fly high. Yerp! Finish him, Daddy. Oh!